you are a zebra mussel, and your life begins as a microscopic, helpless larva floating aimlessly in the water. Your parents, who you'll never meet, just ejected millions of eggs and sperm into the water column, hoping for a lucky collision. Somehow, you were part of the 1% that survived fertilization. Congratulations. You're now a free swimming villager, which sounds fancy, but really just means you're planktonic cannon fodder. For the next few weeks, you drift through the water completely at the mercy of currents and anything with a mouth. Tiny fish, zooplankton, and even other filter feeders treat you like a mid-morning snack. But if you're lucky, and by lucky, I mean incredibly fortunate, you survive long enough to develop a shell. You're still microscopic, but now you have some armor. It's like wearing a paper-thin raincoat during a hailstorm. Eventually, you find a hard surface and settle down. This is it. You're going from a carefree drifter to a lifelong squatter. You anchor yourself using bissel threads, which are basically tiny, super strong ropes that cement you in place. Once attached, you'll never move again. You just sit there, filtering water and hoping nothing crushes you. As you grow, you become part of a massive colony of fellow mussels, clumping together into suffocating clusters. You're incredibly good at surviving, which makes you an ecological nightmare. You clog pipes, cover native mussels, and form razor-sharp mats that slice up anything that dares step on you. You become so invasive that entire lakes turn into mussel minefields. But while you're ruining ecosystems, your life still sucks. For starters, you're a filter feeder, which means you literally spend your entire existence sucking in water and filtering out tiny particles. The downside? You can't control what you inhale, so you end up absorbing all kinds of pollutants and toxins. Essentially, you're nature's sponge for sewage. And while you're busy being a biological vacuum cleaner, predators like crayfish and diving ducks come along and gobble you up by the mouthful. You're also extremely fragile. Slight temperature changes or chemical treatments used by humans to kill you can wipe out entire colonies. You spent your whole life stuck to one spot only to get poisoned in bulk. But even being a toxic, invasive shellfish is better than being a creature whose entire life is spent luring others into a trap. Don't miss the next video, Why It Sucks to Be a Trapdoor Spider,